There you go. <laughs> Hey guys, it's uh, Robin Jan from, uh, well, you know. Anyway, I hope the world's finding you well, and uh, we just wanted to give you a little uh, update of uh, what's going on, and uh, Janet will take it from here. Take it from here. Take My it turn. from here. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so just a quick little update. Uh, this video, you'll see a title about poem. Uh, so if you watched our very first video, you will notice, if you watch to the end of our first short little five minute video, you'll notice at the last minute there is a poem I wrote uh, that's regarding our van life and our kind of aspirations uh, in regards to this lifestyle. In this video, there's a little bit of a van tour update at the start, and in the last minute of this video, if you watch to the end, is a van life poem I wrote for one of our van life gurus who inspired us. We started watching him a few years ago. You probably know him, and if you don't, you should know him. A uh, great guy with a great dog. Haven't met him yet. Would love to, love to meet him in person. Uh, but I uh, wrote this poem for him. I'll be doing this as an ongoing series. So you'll see other poems come out. Maybe one about you if you're watching and you're one of the van life gurus. So uh, just wanted to give you a heads up of what's there. At the very end, if you stay right to the very end, there's a couple of Robin Jan banter bloopers you might enjoy or you might not. Okay. Whatever. Okay, that's enough. Cheers. So. Pull Have up a, a drink and uh, <laughs> join us. Come on. Okay. Okay, let's go. Talk to you later. Okay. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> so we realized the other day we were trying to rush and get our van tour done. It was getting dark, getting late, and we did not sign off. So just wanted to say uh, we are Rob and Jan Can Van. We are starting a YouTube series. So we're going to have... Um, we're going to have a tour including this one we're going to have some tips and tricks and different travels along the way as well as a whole build series of this guy yeah doing but, his blood sweat and tears building yeah a van. but now the the, <laughs> the build series is just going to be giving you my impressions right i don't think you have to see every screw i drive or you know it, it, it's like there's a million uh van, van builds out there that if you want to go to them you can look at them because you know what everything is specific to what you're doing in in the moment so right. anyway when i come across different uh, things or i uh saw something that might be a little interesting or a variation from what people are doing i will highlight those items or uh processes in, in the hope of uh you know giving you an idea of uh how I accomplished it, but um, yeah, it's not going to be as intensive as. Uh, you know, I'm not going to show every Craig Jig thing that was used. Not that there was here. I didn't use any I Craig didn't. Jigs. No Craig Jigs. No Craig Jigs. Were used in the manufacturing <laughs> of this van. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I know they're a very useful tool. Uh, I, I just uh, I've done carpentry and uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, you, you didn't find a need for it. Uh, I didn't find a need for it. So right. anyway, uh, no, no offense to anybody who no, used a Craig jig, and no. I know people love them, but yeah. um, Rob has a different way of putting things yeah. together. So yeah. So anyway, uh, not that it's right or wrong. It was just my process. I, uh, you know. So anyway, uh, we will have some uh, uh, videos of uh, different things, components, or whatever, and uh, mm -hmm. you'll see by the titles mm -hmm. uh, what I approach. And you know, we're just new. We're new to van life. We're new to filming, editing, videos, everything. So please be patient with us in terms of our quality. I'm sure we'll get better as we go along, but we're just still learning, you know, what to film, how to film. He got a drone, but he hasn't got the license all sorted out. And well, the, you haven't got your license done. You have to do a test and everything, right? I've had a drone. Canada? I've had a drone for four months. I haven't even put the propellers on. So. <laughs> he was busy. It's like, there's just, you know, you, you're, you know, you're going in that many directions at once, eh? You know, so uh, anyway, we're trying to get grounded here and uh, organized. And, uh, you know, while the snow's flying, this is just a couple of days before Christmas. Yeah. So uh, anyway, we're trying to uh, organize things so that on a go forward basis, we have a workflow and everything uh, uh, established and uh, still haven't gone through three months of uh, video. So anyway, that's to do. More than that, because you actually started doing videos in August for the van build. Yeah, and August. then we started traveling in October. Um, and then, of course, with COVID and things locking down, it's it's hard. We, we thought we'd be in the south. Everything we thought would yeah. happen is a little different. We thought we'd be yeah. down somewhere warm. 
you know, traveling different places, seeing new things, and here we are stuck in uh, yeah. in Ontario. And it's not that Ontario isn't beautiful, but it's cold. It's not the right yeah. time of year to be traveling in a van in Ontario. Yeah. So yeah, we're on a, we're on a learning curve. As you can see, the light is fluctuating in this because things are happening uh, the way it senses it, and uh, I haven't uh, set the uh, exposure and then used the fill light. So uh, these are all things that I, I'm aware of, uh, but just uh, you know what too many things to do so anyway <laughs> we'll figure it out please be patient yeah. with us if you want to subscribe come along watch our journey yeah. just a couple of old folks having fun and seeing new places and doing fun things and hopefully we can learn things along the way from each other yeah so yeah. we'll show you a few more of the little other little tips uh things we like don't like uh in other videos things we've done we would have done maybe a little differently for the most part we're happy with what we've done well you uh, are uh except for <laughs> i want to ask you I wasn't okay so when he went out west to build the van out i gave him a whole color you know different colors of what to do for the paint and yeah. paint chips and everything it was all different gray tones it was all supposed to be a nice kind of whites and grays and nice kind of tones like that yeah. and it ended up being green and burgundy so not what i chose i'm getting used to it i don't mind it but i don't love it so wondered if other people you know, who on Team Jan or Team Rob in terms of what the colors are, if you would have gone more grays or if you like the different look of the greens and burgundies, it does give it kind of a cabin look, which is nice and cozy, but yeah. it's the green I'm not 100% certain of. But Oh, it'll grow on you. <laughs> <laughs> like you? Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it was just at the time doing the painting, it, it sucked. It just wasn't going to uh, show well, so... I made a, a five-second uh, executive decision, and uh, most people, present company excluded, seem to like it. So anyway, just be polite. T tell us, tell <laughs> us what, tell us how much you like it, and we will be happy. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're all, we also fixed a few things since we did the van tour as well. Uh, because we were having a lot of issues. That's one thing we did change. Uh, a lot of the lifts on the cabin cabinets, we went with ones that we've seen on different mm. van build series, and they're supposed to be superior, and he had a heck of a time. He, he likes to build things. He could not figure them out, and they just weren't working, so we changed those up. So a few little things like that, odds and ends, we've got uh, finished up yeah. now, and and uh, yeah. Yeah, there's uh, modifications that we're doing just to, uh, you know, fine-tune uh how we live in the van and uh mm -hmm. you know we we've heard different uh scenarios where you should live in the van for you know six eight months a year or whatever do it slow nah that's not the way i do things <laughs> we watch enough videos and i've lived in small environments for 38 years where i had to work and uh uh you know uh i, I had an idea of what i needed and uh looking at other people's builds we, we got a good uh layout of uh uh how they did it and what they would change and that is how come the band was built this way it was all around a 52 gallon freshwater tank inside and that'll be part of the van build and you'll see why okay okay anything right. else to add yeah it's getting cold out <laughs> this sucks. I'll be glad when this 2020 is over and uh, the borders are open again and we have mobility. But uh, mm -hmm. anyway, everybody's in the same boat and uh, maybe we're ahead of some people behind others. You know, you just do what you can do. So anyway, yep. uh, we'll give you updates as we go along. Yep. We'll learn. We'll all learn together. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. Doc, uh, that's about it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We're done. Yeah. Good night, Ralph. Good night, Fred. Here's a little shout out to one of our van life mentors. How do you describe a guy like Chrome, a van life guru and a rockin' van home? You started out chillin' with your disco boy, now Cruzy Bear's your buddy, bringing you such joy. You're a van city guy, born and bred, and traded it all for the van life instead. To embrace your dreams of freedom and fun, exploring new places, waking up before the sun. Finding a quiet road, seeing where it goes, calling out to the world, what's up, weirdos? <laughs> you may get stiff from kneeling on the floor, but it's a shorter fall from your tequila drawer. You've accomplished so much in three YouTube years. Reaching 100,000 peeps almost brought you to tears. Odd socks, plaid shirts, sipping craft beer at night. Cheers. 
to you and Cruzy, Weirdos Unite. See? Hi, this is wrong. Hi. <laughs> Try again. Hi, this is Rob. And this is Janet. And we have some exciting news. Welcome to our new channel. And uh, I don't know where my husband's going with this, but let's go around and get some, something exciting to show you. What's back there? I don't know. <laughs> uh, little things that my wife didn't uh, uh, cover because she's not uh, you know, aware of the details. So anyway, I'm going to get her out of there. <laughs> Uh, hot, stealing it. 